This is our tour of our 2019 Grand Design Imagine 3170BH. Uh, this one's got the Arctic package and uh, it's good for colder weather. But uh, 3170BH. We're just going to do a quick burner around because I know everybody likes to see inside, not really outside, but we're going to do it all and do it one time. So <laughs> this is our outdoor kitchen. Um, we use it as something else. Um, obviously we use it as a refrigerator only. No, we uh, installed this dryer because we had clothes hanging up all over inside the camper. And uh, if you guys seen our washing, how we wash clothes videos, you, you know what I'm talking about. But this thing is freaking awesome. Never been excited about a dryer in my life, but I am very excited about this. Uh, just a little, this used to have cupboards in it. We took them all out and just kind of, I have rebuilt one of them. So at least have some storage. This is where the grill is. Or the stove we never use it this one's just uh kind of a junk drawer and uh it is nice having this extra fridge so water can fall out every time you open it <laughs> <laughs> but, but we uh, use it mainly for water yeah we use it for water but you know if we're, if we're going somewhere for a while we'll we'll put food in there too so it's just nice having that they got a small fridge aside but at least you got some more room it's coming handy a yeah lot. it does uh, power awning. Here's the one door. There's two entries in this in this one. That one goes into our bedroom up there. There's this one. Um, the tires. Everybody's wondering about RV tires. These have been good. We've got over 6,000 miles on these tires already, and they're they're filled with nitrogen. They're holding nitrogen. We haven't had any issues with the tires, so we put them through the paces. Um, under the awning, it's got the nice LED lights, and it might not look like much. But at night, it will light this whole area up. It's it's perfect. Um, a couple little three-inch outdoor speakers. You can shut them off so that you can only have radio inside or turn them on and have it on only outside or both or whatever. But we use that quite a bit. I like that a lot. Um, other stuff. Here's a little outlet, which is nice. You're sitting out here. I used it the other day. It had a fan just blowing out here on us. That was nice. We're in the south, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Um, here's one side of the pass-through storage. It is all passed through completely all the way through. I organize that Organized every Organized chaos stop. is what we call it. Yep. We know where everything is. No, so. I organize it every stop, but that's what it looks like yeah. after 10 minutes. Yeah, once I'm in there for one minute, it's done. <laughs> I don't know why I try. Right. Uh, it's got the nice uh, fiberglass front cap. I like that a lot. The LED strips, these these are nice too because when it's dark, I mean, it will light all this up in front here. We usually nice. keep it on at night so we can find our trailer. Yeah, it helps you find your trailer. It's got two 20 pound tanks on the cover. It's got a light for if you're gonna do something at night. I don't know. Electric just, jack. Yeah, electric jack, that's nice. This is our sway bar set up. Those were an add-on. Yeah, add-on, you, you gotta have that, I think. The other side, oh, it is prepped for solar panels if you have that or want that. We use a generator when we need to. This is locked, so it does have a lock in it, and you can't open it if it's locked. But it is just the other side of the pass through storage, it's just it goes all the way through. There is a lot of storage in this one. Okay, we went and got the keys. I found the keys, <laughs> so but that was important to know that it was locked. So, but. So this is where the water hookups are. It's it's nice because it goes under the belly. You don't have to have it sitting on the outside like a lot of them. So it goes under here. We installed this 90 with the water pressure regulator here. And uh, right now we're on city water, obviously. But what's nice is when we're going to go, if we're not if we're going somewhere that doesn't have water, I flip this, and right now it's filling the tank. So I don't have to like I don't have to fill it through here. It just fills itself, and then when it's full, it comes out the overflow, so you know it's full. But so that's nice. Before you unhook your hose, you can fill your tank and get ready, get everything ready to go. 12 volt battery disconnect. Um, it's another more outlets here. There is one on the other side too. But we keep all the sewer and cores and power stuff in this one. Got lights in here, and you yep. can put them. Motion them, sensor, yeah. Put them on motion sensor if you want. Yep. Cable hookups are in here. Um, it's got a little outdoor deal here if you wanted to take. You know wash a dog or something i guess you got your hot and cold here there it comes with the hose for that 
but uh, these this are is... magnet, so it's nice, they just stay up there. Yep, magnet locks, and then this is where you fresh water fill if you are not hooked up and you just want to fill it real quick. This is the black tank flush, which is nice, it's got the sprayers in the black tank, so you can clean that out. Little light out here, and under here, there's three valves. Well, there's four valves. This, if um. This one is your fresh tank, so if you want to dump your fresh water, you just pull that and you can empty it. This is a gray tank. There's two gray tanks. There's that. That's for the so that's for the front bathroom and shower. The sink and the shower, I guess. The black tank is in the middle here, and then there's a gray tank that is separate for the kitchen stuff that Nicole left open. So okay. when we flush, we usually do the sewer first and then we do the two gray tanks to flush the tube out. I think everybody does that. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> um, you never know. So this is, uh, we're on 30 amp right now. This this rig is 50 amp, but we got the adapter on it for 30 amp because that's what this site is. This is our surge protector. Um, you can see they call it the pocket size. It is so small and compact you can put it right in your pocket. Should I show them? But uh, I don't know, heard a lot of stories about people that don't have them and I didn't want to be one of those stories. So we got the mini, the mini pocket size one. And then uh, down here, this is the, the big slide that you see in the kitchen living room. And then this is the slide for the bunk room. So this is where your power cord comes in. Uh, it's all separate. It's not one of them type that shove in a hole. Uh, so you can roll it up, put it, we put it in the storage compartment up there. This works out good. I like it. It's got the little locking collar on it. This pops in and twists. It's got the light on. It comes on when it shows that you got the power. So if you lose power and this light's not on, it doesn't mean it's this. It means it's from the box. So this we'll talk about what I did later. But uh, yeah, the only thing is that I don't really like is this is so far from like the water hookup and the sewage, which is in the first quarter of the camper up there that we have run into the problem where we don't have enough sewer holes going this way and a power cord going this way because these are all so far apart, but we just got more sewer line and problem solved. So the awning is power. I'll show you where it is. It's on the control panel. The control panel for your black water tank, fresh water, gray water, battery, everything is right here. You just push the buttons, tells you what it is. Um, electric, if you want your electric for your water heater or gas, you pick that water pump, outside lights, ceiling lights, and the two slides and the awning. So everything is right here. Um, and yeah, this is nice. We used to have a camper. We used to have a camper that, uh, <laughs> somebody needs to learn how to walk. We used to have a camp, she's been drinking. <laughs> Not true. I, how many times is this, five now? We used to have a camper where you had to hook the, hook the thing and pull it out manually. So having the power awning is super nice. You just hold the button, it brings itself out all the way, it brings itself back in, it locks itself in. And, and it covers both doors. Yeah, it covers both doors, so it covers all this. It's really, it's nice. Like I said, the light does a really nice job. When it's dark at night, I mean, it, it lights everything up out here, so. Okay, so for when you first enter, there's a little shoe kick thing under here and then Jason made this into a shoe closet by adding a couple shelves otherwise it was just a big open thing this is just more storage We've got our keys mirror back here it goes way back there so we have some things stacked back there We've got hooks at the entryway and then you'd walk into our living room eventually we plan on removing this couch and half of that and changing it into a longer couch so we can all fit for movie nights but right now those are reclining and massage and heat and then over here we got double pantry which we also use part of it for some toy storage and then another little nook up here that is quite detailed and then it comes with the TV, you can pull it out. And it's actually nice because there's little room back here to store like your DVDs and some remotes and stuff. The 
radio, DVD player. This turns into a bed. There's storage under here that goes all the way back. And then there's another ottoman back there that also you can take it in and out. And then it also has storage in that. So you got two there. The fridge and freezer, which isn't huge, but it actually works. I was kind of surprised because I didn't think we'd be able to fit enough in there for our big family. Got the microwave. Got these cute little shelves at Walmart that happen to fit perfectly in there. The oven. And when we were looking, everybody said you needed a pizza stone for to cook it even. But we've learned that if you just use any metal cookie sheet under a pan, it works just as well. And then this drops down if you don't if you want more room. But we always leave it up because we except when we're traveling because it won't fit with the slide but we put our garbage under here and then the dog water these are nice huge doors this is what attracted us the most to this model is these big sliding doors because it gave it such a long feel and just more room it felt like these are deep cupboards they go all the way back there got this little thing just at the dollar store and it works great that's where most of these are from too is just the dollar store and green just happened to be the color they had it's not my favorite color but for a dollar it works cup storage we got our bowls here plates baking stuff this is one of my favorite parts is the farmhouse sink i guess not completely farmhouse but pretty close and then it comes with a little sprayer which comes in really handy and then we got this for our dish rack which pops up and down and what I normally do is I either leave it in if we don't have many dishes but if we have a lot then I just put it up here but it's nice you can get that at Target we've seen it at Lowe's and we've seen the same ones Lowe's was like a couple dollars cheaper we bought it at Target of course and let's go back to the kids' room, which is another reason we got it for the six kids. Nice big door again. It's got four bunks in it, one larger bunk on this side, which we actually bring a crib mattress with too for one of our younger boys. So then at night we just put the crib mattress down here. During the day we throw it up here. Another bed here, it's got a little light and some plugins under there. And this was actually open storage, but we changed the outside kitchen and took out um, most of some cupboards. And so we had extra doors. So we added doors to here and it's just kids storage. They got bins in there. It's got three drawers here and three drawers here. And so just got their clothes in all of them. We have six kids and there's six drawers worked out perfect. This is the jackknife couch, so at night he usually sleeps with it like that. But during the day we make him put it in so we can reach the drawers better. And then this bunk, well also you can push it up and get it out of the way if you were going to use the couch more often, which we never raise it because it's our oldest daughter's bed and we just don't, they don't use this as a couch anyways, so we'll just leave that. And we'll go back to the bathroom. This is also a reason we liked it. We have a huge bathroom where more than one of us can fit in it here to get ready if we need to. It's got the little medicine cabinet up here. Some more storage down here, which we can fit a lot. And even more storage over here. Little shelf here. Not really know what to do with that yet. It's got four super deep shelves here. They go all the way as deep as the shower. So those are nice for towels and stuff. So we got the shower here, which I'm not a huge fan of this right now because it doesn't seem to work right. But we got a big shower. It's also our laundry room. Um, if we need to shower, we take out this stuff and just set it in the bathroom, which still gives you plenty of room. Nice tall shower. I'm kind of short, but still 
Jason fits in here just fine too. It's got a skylight. So that was nice. And then this is our bedroom, which we have a exit door here, which we don't use very often, hardly ever. But the thing we wish is it didn't have the privacy window, it had a regular window we could open and close so we could get the cross breeze, but it's all right. Got closet and like underwear drawer here. It's got a couple outlets down here, a couple lights above and then like storage up here, which we use for blankets and extra diaper stuff. I'll show you that side. Our little printers up there. So we changed the closets too. They used to have the pole in here for hanging stuff, which wasted a lot of space because these are really deep too. So then we added, I think two shelves in Jason's and three shelves in mine. And then I got the youngest one's diapers in here and then extra clothes back there. Little command hooks for your jewelry. I don't have a lot of jewelry, so it works fine for that. Um, little drawer here. They're really, really deep. And then my side actually has um, an outlet and also a USB outlet for charging your phones or whatever, which is nice. And I will warn you, this looks like it'd be a step into your bed, but it's not. You step on that, you fall through. <laughs> I learned the hard way. There's zero support under there, so Jason had to rebuild it. We um, installed a TV up here, so rainy days we can watch movies or whatever. Our little vacuum sits here, and that's pretty much the tour. So if you look down here, you can see how much room it actually feels that we have. But we love it so far, and there's eight of us, and we fit in here just fine, which is kind of shocking because we came from a two-story house and way more square footage than this, but we love it actually. So there's more drawers here. Here's a little cupboard, which I keep like my longer cookie sheets and stuff and my electric frying pan and stuff. It's good for that. Big drawer that comes out all the way here for your pots and pans or whatever, lots of room for that. Got two more drawers here. Keep our silverware here. And then this drawer for your washcloths or anything like that. It's really shallow. It works good for that. Then there's one more addition that we did to this that, it, that is not stock that I'll show you over here. And if anybody is ever around Brainerd, Minnesota, go to Brian's Welding, ask for Chris. I had him. These bumpers, God, I don't know, it's probably 14 gauge steel. It's not thick. You cannot attach a hitch to that. You will bust it. it it's And people have, and then they yeah, lose their stuff. They told us that they're only aesthetic. That's that's their purpose. And they hang a spare tire. And, they, and I've had guys tell me that even the spare tire hanging on this will break it. Because I wanted to bring a moped, because um, it's important to me. And I got this uh, motorcycle carrier at Harbor Freight, but anyway, here I'll show them the hitch. I had this heavy duty hitch, which is really nicely done. It, so I got the scooter deal going into the hitch there. They did that, they dropped the underbelly, and they welded it all up to the frame. It's all welded all up in there. I don't know how good you can see it, but anyway, so it, it's it's welded to the frame in there, so nothing is attached to that heavy duty piece there, but uh, they did a nice job. So like I said, if anybody's ever in the Brainerd, Minnesota area and they want a hitch and they want somebody that has had one and is happy, talk to Chris, there it is. And then back here is uh, just like that water port that was up in the front storage, you can also hook that back here to, uh, have water back which here, is great for rinsing feet if you're in the sand yeah I actually I use this a lot because when we were by the ocean I just leave that little hose hooked up and I just set it on here and every time we come back from the ocean or a pool just to rinse the chlorine or the salt water off I mean it found a good purpose for it, so that's actually really nice because the doors right there so you're cleaning off right in front of there but this is the where the dryer exhaust I had to cut that in it took me um, about an hour of mental preparation to put a hole in my brand new camper but 
it's there. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, it, it's nice. Furion backup camera, love that thing. Helps a lot. Yeah. Keep an eye on his scooter when we're going down the road too. Yeah, I can see the scooter, I can see the cars, or even backing in like, you know, I don't need her back here to tell me where the end is because I can see it from up there, which is really nice. One thing I will say about this one though is that this has the bigger AC, it's the 15,000 in it. And if you're in an open area and it's hot, it's not enough. I mean, it, it's running 24 seven to do everything it, it can. So if- Especially if, in like Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, Mississippi, Florida, we were in Florida and the Orlando RV there, Thousand Trails, and it was pretty open. There wasn't any shade. So if being cool is important, I would get the second one. This is pre-wired for a second one up in the front. Um, it's not that important to us. This one will take the humidity out and it does cool it down. And there she is. So what do we pull this with? Uh, that thing. This is a 2009 Chevy Express, 3,500, one ton. It's got the 6.0, it's gas, automatic. It pulls it just fine. I mean, if you know, if you're going up a lot of hills and stuff, I mean, that's maybe that's when you want a diesel for a lighter unit. But uh, this, this van has pulled it halfway across the country already with zero problems, and it's we love the van. So the camper from I think his overall length is like 37 feet and 32. almost 8,000. Huh? 32, I thought. Well, the camper itself is, but oh. hitch the bumper is how they measure them. And I think it's. 7,800 pounds dry, if I remember correctly. So it's, could use a bigger tow vehicle, but this works just fine. So if this is what you got, you can do it.